the best Mahindra to date. That is what our verdict was when we tested the Marazzo on test tracks and roads that we are familiar with. But how does the seven seater perform when we take it to a diverse set of roads the country has to offer that we aren't familiar with? That is what the idea is behind the ocean trails, where we will be taking the Marazzo from the easternmost coast of India to the southernmost coast. Of course, along the way, we will be soaking in some sunrise over the waters at beautiful beaches, unearthing hidden gems and putting the Marazzo under the real world test. Brilliant roads leading up to Mandarmoni from Kolkata let us stretch the four-cylinder heart of the Marazzo that puts out 120 bhp and 300 newton meters of torque and it did not disappoint, consistently maintaining high cruising speeds. The Mandarmuni beach used to be India's longest drivable beach, but now cars are barred from driving on the beach. The next day we headed to the town of Kaitkola, home to another fabulous beach. The roads however weren't as good this time but the superb suspension setup ironed out the bumps and undulations and ensured that we were comfy in the captain seats of the Marazzo. Onwards to Puri, we cruised on the spectacular NH16 which was our companion for the most of the drive along the east coast. The NS16 passes along the beach in Konark and is quite the experience to drive on, especially in the evenings with the cool sea breeze in your hair. From Puri, we drove to Vizag and on the way passed by the Chilika Lake, the largest lagoon in the country. Home to around 200 dolphins, it is fairly common to catch a sighting. No such luck for us though and we continued onwards to Vizag. With Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and the big, bright central infotainment screen, navigation was a breeze. The roof-mounted air conditioning for the rear passengers proved to be a boon and the option to diffuse the airflow was a lifesaver when you wanted to get some sleep in the back. We were told that we will be surprised with Vizag and sure enough, we were. The city is probably the cleanest that we have been to in the country. The marine drive and the Kursura submarine museum are particular highlights and should not be missed. A couple of hours away in Bora Caves and the prehistoric cave complex is quite the spectacle. The Marazzo took to the corners like a fish takes to water and there was much thrill of driving to be had. We left for Vijayawada and explored the quaint side town of Kakinada. Another great set of roads followed and almost a week into Ocean Trail, we were still in awe of the way the Marazzo handled. Much credit has to be given to the brave move of creating the world's first ladder frame, front wheel drive transverse engine vehicle. From one metro to another, the Marazzo had so far been the perfect companion on such a long road trip. With loads of space for five of us and our equipment and incredible of comfort too. For the final leg of our drive, we headed to the charming town of Puducherry. We decided to treat ourselves a bit and instead of the regular route, we took the gorgeous east coast road to Puducherry, soaking in the sights of the French era architecture on one side and the beautiful sunset on the other. We were now at our final destination on the Mahindra Marazzo Ocean Trail. More than 2000 kilometers of driving through some spectacular places, we have realized that there is indeed a lot more to India than we had previously known. We set out to find out if the Marazzo can handle all the questions that a road trip like this will pose and we are happy to report that it does with ease. <laughs>